And this week, the testosterone alert was set off by none other than Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan. You knew it was coming. We all knew it was coming. But nothing has energized this electoral season probably. Mm, no, nothing other than the pick of Paul Ryan as Mitt Romney's vice presidential candidate. There have been amazing speeches since they hit the campaign trail a week ago. They have had uh, just an incredible amount of crowds at all of their events. And not only is Paul Ryan, who, of course, you know, tangentially related to the estrogen alert, but not only is Paul Ryan getting all sorts of attention, but he's having an effect on Mitt Romney in the way he campaigns, the way he's speaking, the way he's responding. And I think he's emboldening Mitt Romney with the way that they're working together. And this looks like a team that gets along, that likes each other, that doesn't have all the tension that you've seen of mismatch and you know uh, unequally yoked candidates. This one looks like this could be a winning combination. And when you look at it, it seems to me like this is one of the best combinations we've had in 30 years running. Oh, that totally. The dynamics is amazing. I'm just super excited. And one, they're a good-looking couple. They look good, or a team, I guess, not couple. <laughs> they, look, they look good on television. They speak well. There's no gaps. They, they truly understand the way the country, the campaign works. They're not out hitting shiny objects, and I just can't wait to put both. I can't wait to, to watch all the debates. Oh, I know. For the first time. So and, much fun. And both of them will bring a dignity to the White House. Indeed. And Most a work indeed. ethic. Both have a very strong work ethic, so that's what uh, uh, will be interesting to see the dynamics that happen within the government. With this ticket, we know that, that they're really campaigning high now. What is that going to do to the discussion um, of this whole campaign? What are the, the issues? Are these guys going to be, I think it's a good question, are these guys going to be able to hold the, the Obama campaign to talking about issues? Are they going to be able to deflect the kind of Chicago politics that Obama and company are used to? I, all these things are, are important to the fact that this combination may be... I don't know what kryptonite to Obama. I don't know. Well, they've definitely these two have definitely changed the the playing field because now it's it's a different dynamic because we know Ryan can hold himself against um, Obama and it'll be a walk in the park with Biden because that's you know that's a walking gaff a, a second where. Um, I think uh, both Ryan and Romney complement each other, and I think that, um, yeah, definitely I'd say they're kryptonite to the Obama-Biden campaign because Ryan will make sure it's issues-orientated instead of the little smear campaigns and this and that. It'll be fascinating to see them, you know, as, as the president, vice president of the United States. I'm so looking forward to this, you know, um, because the relationship between Canada and the U.S. has been hurt big time because of mm. Obama and the left. And Canada, for their own self-preservation, is having to look elsewhere. So at some point, the United States and Canada won't be each other's number one trading partner. Let me ask this. Mm -hmm. How do you guys think that the dynamic of these two candidates serves to bring the different, I guess, factions of conservatism together. You've got Ron Paul people, you've got uh, establishment conservatives, you've got uh, liberty you know, movement in general people, you've got people who've worked in, in different administrations over the years that don't necessarily play nicely in the sandbox together. Do you think this is going to have a, a, a unifying uh, effect on the different parts of the conservative movement? Well, I think... Go ahead. Go ahead. I've never seen a conservative yet complaining about it, about the choice. I haven't, and that's a first. I've had a couple people on a poll say that they were less likely, and I mean a couple, I really mean a couple, say they were less likely to support the ticket or they were less enthused about the ticket because of Ryan, and I would bet they were in the Ron Paul camp. I'm just throwing that out there, even though that's probably the best pick they could have had that was feasible. Mm -hmm. You know, because... Both of them have their own unique talents and giftings to bring to the table. Thus, they will appeal to different aspects of the conservative movement. So where Romney may not bring in a certain section, 
Ryan will. So I think that they're that that much more of a balancing act where you know they've just made their appeal within the conservative community that much bigger. There are some that you will never ever ever be able to please because it's not their candidate up there. And it doesn't matter how good the candidate is, they'll always, always be angry that way. Um, or just, you know, stay home and not vote kind of thing. But I think this ticket here is is a really good one. I'm interested to see how many of the people that worked for different campaigns through the primary come and end up working for this campaign. And I think you'll, you'll start getting a better picture within the next week or two. Because you've only got 80... What, 84 days or something like that, you know, so they got to they got to get on it, you know, but then you look at Sununu and, and, and others and the great job that they've been doing at, at holding the left to task for being stupid is putting it nicely, um, you know, there there's always bumpy rides, but, you know, as long as we get past the finish line, that's all that counts. <laughs> 